We blazing. What's up, YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. I'm back again with my 6.8 quart dual blaze Kasori air fryer. Just came from my local supermarket food lion, and I'm gonna make some dual blaze meatballs today, guys. I always wanted to try this out. They are spicy Italian style meatballs. And guys, if you can, if you prefer to make meatballs on your own, you know, boil them up yourself and season them up, that's perfectly fine. So do that and meet me at this point. Now I bought two packs of meatballs just in case I needed more than one. And if I don't use the other one, I'll just put it in my deep freezer for another day. As you guys know, this is the Kasori Dual Blaze where it cooks on the bottom and the top. So there's no need for me to use the crisper plate at this time. Um, but if you're making air fryer um, meatballs in your air fryer that is not a dual blaze machine, then of course, yes, you're going to have to use a crisper plate and you're going to have to rotate them halfway. I don't have to do that with this machine. Okay, guys, yeah, this is more than enough. So 4, 8, 12, yep, 12 meatballs, perfect. Let's close it up. I think we'll go for 12 minutes. I'll check it at 8 and uh, go from there. Turn on Kasori air fryer for 12 minutes at 400. Air frying for 12 minutes at 400 degrees. And for my new viewers that are unfamiliar with this particular air fryer, it also connects to your network, which enables me to um, connect via Wi-Fi to my Google or in my case, Echo devices. I have some leftover homemade mash from a little cookout I had yesterday that I'm just going to have the meatballs with. Comfort food at its best, y'all. 12 minutes. Eight minutes, actually. I checked that eight minutes and I, I checked one and... Check the middle of it. It had a little bit of pink in there. So if you don't mind that, eight minutes would do. But you know how we roll. We don't do that. There's only one time we need pink in the... Oh, never mind. But this could be you, by the way. <laughs> like I said before, I did try it out at eight. It had a little bit of pink in the middle. But I want to show you the bottom. Look at the bottom. That's that dual blaze right there. So as you can see, the bottom is even more done than the top. Which is great. But let's check the middle out. Perfect. That is what I need to see right there. Juicy, done, 12 minutes, perfect. Now let's, let's have a taste. Because I'm thinking I want to put some, I don't know, for some reason, I, if, I feel like I must put some A1 sauce on these. I don't know why, but I just feel like I must. But we're going to taste one before we... Um, you know, put it on top of the mash, the homemade mash. All right. Well, you first. You got it. Okay. Still hot. Very good. This tastes more like a sausage. But oh, yeah, it's Italian meatball, duh. Yeah, good. Very good. Shout out to my viewers and subscribers that hit the like button way before my video is even finished. I appreciate that. You guys saw the paper towel go up. That means it's time to eat. And by the way, Aiden's mom made these potatoes. I didn't make them, but they're red potatoes with cheddar cheese, um, sour cream. And I added, she didn't know I had this because she would have added it, but I added some bacon chive to it. And it's going to be bomb. Alright, since I already gave you a bite of the Italian meatball already, we'll do some with the mash. Get in there. You first. You got it? Mm hmm That's really good, guys. 
Mm. Yeah, oh yeah. These are really good Italian meatballs. Real deal here. But this um, time, you know, in the air fryer will work for just regular meatballs as well. So whether you have Italian meatballs or whether you're making Italian meatballs or just regular meatballs, this will work. One more bite. Dual blaze, baby. Mm. By the way, the purpose of this video is to show you that 12 minutes at 400, no flip, can do Italian meatballs or regular meatballs, by the way. And also, I'll leave in the description a link to this Kasori Dual Blaze Air Fryer. It's absolutely fantastic. I'll leave in the comment section a playlist of over 10 of my videos. I think this might be even the 14th video that I've done on this machine using the Dual Blaze technology. I don't even use the crisper plate because, you know, I have other air fryers that if I need to use the crisper plate, I'll use them. I want to utilize this machine strictly dual blade style because on, there's only a few air fryers that can cook on the bottom and the top, a few. I, there's less than four. So, And this is the only um, basket style air fryer that can do this. So definitely want to utilize that technology and, and make the playlist dedicated to that because everything else you could do with any other air fryer. No big deal at this point. Right? So that's all I got. Hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. If anything, thanks for just even looking at my video. It's Cooking with Doug. I'm out.